The more disruptive thing for us has been the fact that every, every agency, all 30 some odd mayoral agencies, knows what the other is up to now in a way that previously wasn't possible. And so each can be held accountable for the actions of others, and others are held accountable for the actions of each in a way that has never really previously been possible. So this whole concept of data-driven decision-making or evidence-based decision-making, when I tell my kid, uh, the, the, the statisticians who work for me, um, kids. <laughs> the kids, I love they, it. I, yeah. I, I eat gray right hair. Yeah. Uh, the the, the non-experts. Yeah, right? yeah, no. Um, when, it, when, when they, they all kind of laugh about the thought behind uh, you know, data-driven decision-making because they all tend to say, like, well, what's the alternative? Are you going to just throw a jar at a board? <laughs> um, but I do recall very, very strongly, I mean, when I was a DA, a lot of those decisions are very gut-based. Um, in law enforcement, generally, a lot of decisions are gut-based. I'm talking to you, and I'm trying to suss you out and figure out what you're about. Um, the thing that's so fascinating to me is that, you know, there's this, and you mentioned this in your opening, right? you're setting up this, this kind of straw man argument that like, oh, we're going to eliminate that, you know, now that we can quantify and, and approach quantitatively the decisions that we previously made um, in a non-quantitative manner. That's not true at all. In fact, they're very synergistic. Um, they kind of want to set up this, this John Henry type situation. I always thought if John Henry got behind the steel driving machine, everybody would win and the guy wouldn't die. And I always <laughs> thought that that's kind of the position that we're now in as a consequence of the you know, the, the, the ability now to know what we know. So that's why I was nodding my head in a lot of ways, because it's absolutely right. Knowing, you know, being able to make data-driven decisions, evidence-based decisions, reality-based decisions, somebody is still deciding, and somebody is still assessing what's in front of them. You can just do it in a way previously not, not, not possible. And I think that this has wonderful, wonderful, and some scary ramifications, certainly for the public sector side.